On in five. No, no, I can't talk to you right now, darling, but uh, come round to my hotel room a, a little bit later. I'm on air at the moment. Uh, you sweet wee thing. Oh, um, hello. And you know what I think? I think that the morality laws and society's morality needs to be fairly closely looked at. It seems to be slipping a little bit. Actually, it's slipping quite a lot, isn't it? I never thought that I'd ever see some disgusting things I see on the internet now. Mostly by femons, and they seem to have no shame at all. But anyway, I saw this kind of story, and I've seen a guy like this before, but this is a new one. This guy wants to become the Ken doll, or look like the Ken doll, Barbie's Ken doll. First of all, I don't know where these people get the money for it all, but he's already had a lot of work done. But let's get off the stupid planet that we seem to be on and get into the reality planet. First of all, why would a guy want to look like Barbie's Ken doll? Would you say that is normal? No, of course it isn't. The man obviously has some kind of mental issue. But the problem is there's either doctors or professional people out there willing to take his money and do it for him. And that, to me, is morally wrong. If I go somewhere and I've got a friend with me and I shoot somebody and kill them, then my friend also will be charged with murder, I believe. I guess you wouldn't sell a guy real cheap junk food if the guy was way, way overweight, would you? On a regular basis? Well, nowadays they would, because it's all just about money. Forget the morality. Forget what's right and what's wrong. We've all seen some of those femons that have loads of work done on their face and they look disgusting. But somebody has done the work for them and taken their money. We all know what happened to Michael Jackson's nose, don't we? So people don't have any moral judgment anymore. They just want the money. So there must be laws put into place to stop all the stupidity. To stop feeding these people who obviously have some mental issues. So there's also a story, and I'll put a link to both of them down below, of a femon model who is 23 years old and she has problems with one of her legs that has something with water retention. Some She was diagnosed when she was very young. And there's nothing really that can be done about it. But I'm just not too sure how she became a model. Is she modelling her leg? I mean, I feel sorry for the femon, but I'm just wondering how she became a model in the first place, if her leg looks like that. Unless, of course, it doesn't sometimes, and sometimes it does. And if that's the case, surely she should be in another business. The world seems to have gone really topsy-turvy, doesn't it? I thought either male or femon models uh, had to look almost exactly perfect, or what we think is perfect. I don't know, maybe I'm just a different person altogether. But I also think with these children and people who have disabilities, mental or otherwise, and they put them on these TV programs as kind of celebrities, I think it's damn sick myself. Anyway, let me know what you think out there about it all. And I don't know whether you've seen a picture or see me in some of my videos, but you but I will tell you I've had no cosmetic surgery done whatsoever. All those good looks and everything are just mine by nature. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gotta have a laugh, ain't you? And I haven't even had any beer yet. Take it easy now. Cut. Okay. Oh, you're still here, are you, honey? Well, while you're here, just... Can you do something with that?